both kind of stunned. The beautiful archipelago is so close to Gothenburg, and the nature is truly something special. unique to be able to just have lunch wherever we wanted, on any island. And even though we love being adventurous, being able to end our day having local food at a cozy restaurant was perfect for us. I mean, naming one highlight, it has to be the island hangout. Eric and I love adventure, but it has to be easy to access. So this was awesome for us. We had no idea Sweden had pilgrim paths, or that they could be this breathtaking. The woods and the peaceful path were a great break from our busy days, traveling from city to city. The hiking, our long, undisturbed conversations, and the scenery were just what we needed. And so was the dinner at this lovely restaurant. We sat there, enjoyed the food, and talked about our highlight from this day. And it actually was the smallest thing, when we paused during our hike for some coffee by this beautiful secluded lake. Hi, I'm Anne. I always try to combine being active with the city hangout. So getting to know Gothenburg on two wheels was just our thing. And it turned out to be a much faster way to see things. So after checking out the city center, we decided to bike to Gunnebu House and Gardens, just half an hour from downtown Gothenburg. Having seen the countryside on our bikes, we went back to the city and enjoyed a delicious dinner at a romantic restaurant. Our highlight, though, has to be the lunch in the garden amongst all the flowers. 